on those terminals. Now let's say if I remove the 12 volt input on the relay, you will not have continuity on these terminals. As you can see, there is no continuity on the terminals. So all this means the relay is good. And on this example, if the fuel pump does not work, it means that either the wire from the fuse, from this side of the fuse to the fuel pump, is broken or the fuel pump itself does not work all right so the next relay is the relay number two for terminal 15 air then we've got the rear windshield defroster and the relay number one for the terminal 15 r and the last two are the relays for the filler cap now moving on the fuel box by the steering wheel we've got the fuse number 21 so anything connected to the mirrors like heated mirrors, folding mirrors, are these two fuses over here. Then we've got the fuse 25, which is for the heated seats. Fuse number 30 is for the heating for AC blower. So the fuse 31 is for the steering lock. Fuse 41 is for the central locking, and it can be also for hazard lights and rear head release. Fuse number 42, airbag warning lamp. All right, moving in the engine bay, I'm looking from the front towards the fuse box. I'm gonna take out these cables from the ACU. Fuse number 43 is for the horn. Then fuse number 45 is for the airbag lamp again. Fuse number 46 is for windscreen wipers. 47 is for the glove compartment light. 48, it says engine electronics. Got 49 airbag side airbag control unit. Fuse number 50, it says switch illumination. 51 it says engine residual heat system so it can be 51 can be as well for heating starting switch is 52 this one is 53 and this one is 54 it says just engine electronics fuse 55 which is for transmission electronics and fuse 56 which is for abs all right so we've got the 57 it says it's for electronic stability program and central locking so 59 is for ABS and electronic stability program. Fuse number 60, it's again for electronic stability program and ABS. So we've got 62 for diagnosed socket, 63, which can be for dipped beam. 64 is for navigation system. Finally, let me show you the relays. We've got here the horn relay, wiper speed adjustment relay, engine terminal 15 relay, starter relay, terminal 15 relay, wiper on off relay engine terminal 87 relay and the relay for chassis all right guys those were the locations of fuses and relays on this car thanks for watching i hope you find this video useful if you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos make sure that you subscribe and until next time take care and i will see you soon